everybody. Welcome to this show. Actually, we don't know the name of this show yet because my guest and I, we came up with the idea to do it, but we don't really know what to call it yet. Maybe we need advice from you, the viewing audience, what we should call the show. Maybe by the time the show is over, my guest, Rose Lampert, and I will come up with just the right title. I am so thrilled to have with me on this show one of the top ladies in the world of matchmaking and coaching. Matchmaking, you know, that's kind of easy. But what Rose, what Rose and I realize is that there's hardly a chance for people to get to know each other if they're not ready to meet, if they're not healed. And when Rose and I talked, we realized that we're coming from the same approach. So without too much further ado, I want to introduce my very special guest, Rose Lambert. Welcome to the show, Rose. I'm so thrilled that we're doing this show together. Thank you, Bruce. Uh, and I should say thank you, George, too, for introducing us because I was looking for uh, someone to work with because I just didn't want to do it on my own. When I do by myself videos, I hate it. Uh, I'm a you know relationship coach, dating coach, matchmaker, but definitely not an actress. Uh, and it, you know they told me it's like you're the person, you know, product, and you, your viewers want to know you, fans want to know you. You should record videos. And I started, and I hate it. Hmm. I said, I, I am so much more comfortable if I'm communicating with somebody. And I was talking to our mutual friend, George, and he says, about Bruce. And then I gave you a call. And that's how this started. And we had a great conversation, first conversation. And we both entrepreneurs and we both uh, kind of doing the same thing in the like we kind of like the you're not doing for example uh, I'm spiritual but I am not doing the astrology and you do and I think we just kind of like a match made in heaven we could complete one another and I I feel really good about this great so George Dubeck has been in the singles business and the dating business for he and I started together it must be Good goodness gracious, 20 years ago, and he's probably been in it longer. He's an author and he's put on many seminars, a great guy. We've stayed together, but he does things this way and I do things that way. Uh, he's a, a statistics guy and I'm a more of a spiritual lover kind of guy. So, <laughs> um, that's where we differ, but... Uh, we get along great, and he's always looking to help, and he helped us get together. So, Rose, tell let's. I want to introduce you to our audience. Tell us about you. Okay, um, I'm an immigrant woman, first generation immigrant. Uh, I was born in uh, Turkey, but I'm Jewish, and I moved here in 1985. I was just turned 19, and I started to uh, going to college, but. You know, so I'm an entrepreneur and it's like I started a business with the business, the college money I put into business from the business. I paid off the college and I was working on going to college and I was married. I got married really, really young and I was very, very successful woman, but uh, my life life was, you know, it's like I'm, I've always raised spiritual because of my grandmother and uh, with the spiritual the manifestation you know, men, I manifest things. I'm a daydreamer. Anything I want, I, I know I could get it. And that's what I teach people too, because everything in our thoughts, it will, it will become reality if you know how to do it right. Anyway, and it was like, you know, I, my first marriage was 24 years, uh, but business is easy. One of the other hardest thing is being a, a homemaker and I wasn't, I was always working and I always give credit and being a mother because you raising a new generation. And then also the other thing is like the two people really understanding and making something work and also the keeping that uh, love alive. And that's the, where I had a problem with was the keeping the love alive and, you know, the communicating and I wasn't successful in love. 24 years that lasted. 
And then after 24 years, after raising my daughter, I got divorced. 14 months later, I got remarried to an uh, American, Irish American doctor. It's like, you know, I fall in love with the man. But with that one too, I start having problem. I said, you know what? I was very successful. I'm going to take a break and I'm just going to research what makes the perfect relationship because I am like, I am kind of OCD. I have to know if I need to know something. I start searching religions, cultures, cultures, differences, psychology, mental disorders, and uh, anything, everything. Uh, Tony Robbins created, put around the CD books and uh, Wayne Dyer and then relationship coach, therapists and I just spent like 10 years, uh, I put her in to learn uh, how to make a good relationship. So, and after, when I was doing all that, some of the, lot of my life is like always roller coasters, a lot of things happen. I had a major blown Kundalini awakening. It's like people just could look up if they don't know what it is. It's just like a major spiritual awakening. And then after that, uh, I decided to help people with the spiritual awakening and I become a spiritual life coach uh, because I thought that was my calling. I supposed to do that. But when I come across uh, people, they were lonely, uh, but they didn't know they were lonely. They were depressed and they blame on other things. And, you know, after analyzing, I'm like, you need love. They're like, no, 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 I'm okay. I have friends, I have family, I have grandchildren, and I just don't need anybody. I don't want anybody in my house. I am fine, you know, uh, I, I'm like, no, 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 you need love. And I kind of convinced them and I matched them. Uh, so many happened and the time period came uh, people were, because they were keep referring me, time period came like 70% of my client was hiring me for matchmaking, dating, coaching, and relationship coaching. But my website, my business cards were saying spiritual life coach. And then they were getting confused. What, what is this? And then I changed my website, business cards. And then I went, uh, got the certification from the uh, global uh, uh matchmaking like the first school in the world they had the london they have the new york and i searched because when i do something i have to do the best and i got certified from there and so i said it's like i want to know the rules the business side ethics uh how this because the old-fashioned doing it and the business-wise doing it it's different and then also collaboration because you know doesn't matter you know how big of database you have if you don't collaborate you cannot give the best to your client because I might be in South Florida, might be my client needs to match in Europe. So it's like I connected globally. So I started doing that. That's my story. Wow. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Ooh. Oh, I'm sorry. I don't know if I took that too much time. No, not at all. No, that was perfect. That that's how it all started. And then, you know, it's like, I like the, you know, I am very workaholic and I like to help people. But after I started doing this too, this is what I realized because I'm a boutique company. I am not like a, you know, like a big major company with the uh, 20, 30 employees. So it's every client is my client. And when I give them the matching, after the matching, if I don't coach them, they, they you know, the, today the relationships doesn't last if you don't coach. And I have to stay with them like at least three months to first to find a partner. And then coaching through, I have to sometimes, I have to stay like six months to a year with them. So I can't take too many clients. I said, you know what, I, I am not in it for just money. You know, it's like, okay, money part is good. You can support yourself. But I was very successful. I scared myself a long time ago. This is not about money. This is about helping people. I said, I want to do more groups. So it's like, that's why I want to go on to YouTube. I want to go on to making seminars. And that's why I have that the cruise seminar coming up for up to 100 people uh, we could take and that's the limited space. And so I could help more people because I did have big you know, transformations because it's a, just a, one word you say clicks in the person's mind and then their life change. So just like, you know, 
a half an hour, 45 minutes, sometime could be life changing. So that's why I want to uh, be more affordable. So because when you have to do them instead of the, uh, you know, small groups and higher price. And so I could bring my service to bigger groups and more affordable. That's my story. That is incredible. It's so interesting. And I'm thrilled to learn about you. And our paths are so similar. It's incredible. I'll tell you about me. In 1975, I was living in Boston. And I was having such a great time. And I was meeting so many ladies. But kind of like you, I wasn't like falling in love. Like the ones I wanted to be in love with me didn't want to be in love with me. And the ones that I didn't really care that much if it worked out, I couldn't like shake them, shake them loose. And I was wondering what, what, what is going on with people? Why aren't we connecting? And I said, you know what, I'm going to, what can I study just like you? What can I study to learn about people? And, and someone said astrology. I said, oh yeah, I can learn if you're Aquarius, I could, I know about Aquarius, if you're a Capricorn, if you're a Scorpio, whatever. And I started studying and it, you know, it helped me. But that was the key to me starting my spiritual life. Oh. And from there, uh, here's a crazy story. One day I was uh, reading the newspaper like a lot of other people did in the old days. Mm -hmm. And there was a, an astrology column by a man named Sidney Omar. He was, everybody knew Sidney Omar back then. And I would come home from whatever I was doing. And if I had a bad day, Sidney Omar would say for Aries, you had a bad day. Just chalk it up. Don't worry about it. And then the next day, I had a great day. I come home. You had a great day today. See that? Uh, so I said, I got to find out about this astrology. <laughs> and, I, and when I got home to New England. Yeah, yeah like that. because that's the curiosity that starts at all. I am so curious too. It's like I can't stop learning. Yeah, exactly. And astrology, you can go forever and learn, never yeah. know at all. Yeah. So I, I made a call to the New England Astrological Society, and I said I want an astrology reading by Sidney Omar, and they said, "Well, um, why don't you just get an astrology reading by a local person here? We have some great astrologers." I said, "Oh, okay." Uh, they asked me where I lived. I said, Watertown, Massachusetts. I said, oh, isn't that interesting? The president of the New England Astrological Society lives in Watertown. I said, oh, wow, this is great. Um, I said, and give me the address. And they gave it to me. She lived around the corner from me. It was not two, not it was two blocks away, not five blocks away, right around the corner. And after she did my chart, she also gave uh, um, uh, psychic development classes. So I took those and I was off. That was it. Uh, I had to find out how these things work. And uh, that's how I got started. Now, where things really kicked in for me was after studying for years and years, I heard about this thing called America Online. And uh, it was when it was brand new. There was only a couple hundred thousand people on at the time. And uh, a producer friend of mine out in L.A. when I was visiting after I left L.A., he said, why don't, what are you doing? I said, well, I want to be relationship coach. He says, oh, well, why don't you go on America Online and open up a room? I said, what's America Online? He turned his monitor around and he showed me, here's America Online. And when I got back to Florida, I opened up a room. And uh, I was single then. I didn't have much doing at night. So literally for the next 10 years, I would open up that room whenever I had time. And I had over 6,000 detailed, intimate, documented conversations with people from around the country. That's excellent. You learn so like you teaching and you're helping. And then also it's like every session is also for us learning experience too, because each client comes with sometimes you think I had it. Oh, I heard it all. And then you get something like, where is this come from? Exactly. I never heard this song before. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And so I took some of those experiences that I had on uh, doing that. And I wrote a book. And uh, I wrote a book called Body Traders, 
Body traders, what's a body trader? Well, I'm not going to talk about that tonight, but it has to do with uh, instead of being with people for love, we're kind of with them for convenience. The money they have, the house that they own, the car they drive. And that's not love. That's not where you're going to find love. And we agree on that. So we're on the same page with that. And then I, I had the most spectacular teachers. I had, uh, uh, I, when I lived in LA, I used to go see uh, Dr. Michael Beckwith uh, from Agape Universalist Church. Oh, I met the Agape had a group down here too. I, I went one night, I had a, a speak uh, there. I was a guest at the, one of their events. Uh, was, it, was it in Miami? It was in uh, Boca, and I was a guest speaker. Oh, okay, cool. So uh, Michael Beckwith is one of the men who was in the movie Secret. And uh, he is known internationally. He was a teacher of mine. And then uh, I had uh, different people. I studied The Course in Miracles with Marianne Williamson. Oh, my God, that's amazing. I did that, too. So we both uh, experienced on that one. It's, isn't yeah. that amazing? Yeah. Uh, and I started seeing her when she just started speaking at a church in the Lower West Side of Manhattan. And uh, I'll tell you another story about that. And I, the next time that we speak, but there's a, there's a bigger story in, into that as well. So it's been a great ride. And I am, when I met you, we're ready to do the same things the same way. And I'm excited to see where this can go. Me too. And I, when you say the uh, Course of Miracles, the, the, uh, I did see, I work with uh, using Course of Miracles with the groups. It works wonderfully because uh, it explains a lot of things. It's a, it has a, such a soft, uh, uh, genuine explanation. And uh, maybe we should do a group to invite people into doing uh, Course of Miracles with us. So that that's really nice to... Uh, even couples could do that together. If they, yeah, I think that's been almost more for couples because when I was uh, single, it was very hard for me to do the course because I felt it was asking me to to give up certain things that I didn't want to give up, and so I, I I eased off it after several years. But Marianne was my teacher, and uh, what a strong foundation that that gave me. Doctor Pat Allen out in Los Angeles, another incredible dynamic teacher of mine. She taught me all about the ways men and women communicate or don't communicate and the problems that men or women are having. She used to speak once a week in Los Angeles to movie producers and directors and actors and actresses. And she'd get up on that stage and she'd say to them, here's the reason why you're not, why you're so miserable and alone. She'd yeah. tell Right to actors and actresses. It was amazing. People don't know. No. The, when we're watching them, for example, like I take a client, uh, uh, is they, they want to come pay for a matchmaking. I'm like, matchmaking is so much more money because I have to do the, all the work for you. And if it doesn't work out down the road, let's say, okay, I find a guy. I, I have like a 99.9% .9 success rate. Okay, I'm going to find your partner, but let's say fall apart in five years. And now you're going to pay again all that fee. I said, how about just join the coaching? I'll teach you how to become your own matchmaking. The, uh, it's for a lot less money and you could keep it lifelong. Instead of giving you the fish, I'll teach you uh, how to catch the fish. So I convinced some of the late, you know, like a lot of ladies like that to join the course. Uh, not the course, it's just a coaching thing. But I don't like the coach, like sometimes like what they do is like they, uh, most coaches, they have this program, they give it to everybody the same thing. I am like, not like that because people are busy. They don't have time. Uh, they might not need that, what it's in that because everybody's unique. Everybody needs something different. So I say, okay, you have my cell phone number, text message, email. Uh, first we help them to you know teach them how to sort out the dates and find a match but i say every time you come back from a date you're gonna give me a report and when we just communicating like that i get to know these people and i get to know their weak 
and strong parts and where they need their improvement. For example, I'll tell you one of the story. This lady, she's beautiful. She it reminds me of like Andre Hepburn, uh, you know, like she's very uh, elegant, beautiful, uh, very spiritual, delicate lady. And we've, I matched her like because when they're on the coach also I gave them a complimentary service to put their profiles with other matchmakers so we we matched her it's like we didn't charge her a match because it's, it was a complimentary came because we like it when people take the coaching match works so and then she's like over the moon she's like every hundred thing matching it's like uh you know it's like thank you so much and call me call me I'm telling her it's like Barb call me and she didn't she told she got it all figured it out and but I know she that's not gonna work because I kind of learned her weak parts for example she's a writer and sometimes just uh, like sometimes something comes similar for validation she just comes with the story because she's she's a storyteller and she goes on that's like kind of annoying if she was like communicating with me and you know i was gonna be like and then also she needs to have to wump up her uh she's a little bit shy uh pulls back and been from dating scene for a long time and so when she didn't call and of course he stopped seeing her and they had 100 thing matching she says like i can't believe it. we have 100 thing matching he gave me a five reason and we're friends now so i said we're gonna we matched her it's like actually today was her first date and they went on lunch and the other couple of nights the guys was like this time you're gonna give me a report because each time like that's how i do it with my coaching too it's like i just give them what they need because people busy people don't need to need extra garbage and uh you know sometimes people just give them so much the reading and this and that so to justify what the price they're charging it's uh, you know aligns with that I don't do that and I just like uh I deliver results results you know it's like you know whatever they need and that's the in the end that happens you know it's like I'm delivering a relationship they're in their relationship December a lot of uh ladies join they're all of them and you know now uh exclusively seeing each other and not seeing anybody else it's like they all have somebody that's what I you know work on and I just don't teach people everything you know it's just because people busy it's like why put extra garbage in their head and you and I believe exactly 100 percent the same way that you can't just introduce someone I've always said that if I'm going to introduce you you've got to take three months of coaching first right. and then I want to be able to coach you through the process because it's so embarrassing. The things that they tell me, they say, the women say embarrassing things, the men say embarrassing things, and everybody's saying the wrong things to each other. They're getting ahead of each other. They're trying to figure out if this guy can pay for my kid's college education. And it, it's a mess. So not only do we want to coach them before, and prepare them but we want to coach them during the process of two or three to four of the dates i do like uh in the process and before i uh give them whatever they need the like first i i you know even i'm gonna match sometime i hold back for like three months i don't match them right away three months i send them out the date from they find it online and they go out so when they come back i just learn their behavior so when they just ready it's like they made their mistake we correct it then I match from somebody from our database or you know my collaborating matchmakers database we match them with somebody uh I mean if it's available because it's not guaranteed because people could watch this it's like oh I'm gonna sign up I'm gonna get matched no if match comes it's like we're not charging for it if they're lucky enough and if somebody available and uh, we do that but it's not uh guaranteed and but a lot of people also they did manage to find online there by, by themselves too and that's like a lot of like uh, that's like a 50 50 you know a lot of them do find in three months they do find 
uh, I mean, uh, I just by seeing their transactions, like the like the, the speaking, what's going on, and I'm like, you know, do, are you around the phone? If he starts getting a little aggressive, it's like, oh yeah, it's like, you know, I was just checking the seats, like, you know, it's like if my son called or if you know I was expect, but I'm like, okay, you were on your phone, just uh, tell me, just just be honest with me, how much you were on your phone, you know. Uh, and men do a lot of mistakes too. Women do too, but they just don't realize it until somebody tells them because everybody trying to be so polite. Uh, sometimes they don't tell that reality to their friends or like they're like, oh, I'm just gonna upset her. It's not none of my business. And even the people are breaking up, they don't tell the real reason. They don't want to make the things bigger than this. And they want to be gentlemen or they want to be lady. So people just don't know what's wrong with them. But when I'm coach coaching, I'm like, look, your success is my success. I am going to tell you the truth. Nobody cares about like what happened 20 years ago. Now you're going to go there. You're going to be just concentrating on him. And now, and uh, you know, it's like, I enjoy now. And uh, just forget about the past. Don't bring out the, any kind of negative things and a bunch of other things, you know. Uh, it's just I think people invest money on, for example, would you go on Olympics with you know without training with coach, and that's like an important thing, right? How about the person you're gonna get married, spending your life, and like maybe like uh, Olympics is just okay one thing, and but your life gonna go on with a lot of other things, but the the person in your life you bringing is. It's so important to change your life for the worst or the best. And people just don't realize the how important this selection is. And this is the actually the most important uh, business. I say it's like, you know, when you're going through dating, I say it's an interview. And uh, you're not like you just interview prospects for your future. It's the most important decision in our life. And people just don't realize that. And if they're not prepared, they're going to say the wrong things. They're going to turn them off. And so what you're saying is what I have wanted to do for years and years. Uh, and when I spoke to you the other day and I was saying, well, you know, let's, I want to do matchmaking. What you said, no, no, we need I'm doing coaching. Yeah. I'm doing coaching. So that I, want, they... I don't want to give them the fish. I want to teach them how to get the fish. But I, I still like, I throw the, uh, you know, like I still match people, but it's just that will be the gift coming with it. And, you, you know, because matchmaking is just so time consuming when I involve, I can't match, I can't work with so many people. But with the coaching, I'm also thinking, you know, like I have one-on-one -on -one coaching, that's the extent. And also I'm thinking of group coaching too. So like, you know, they could, people could pay lower fee, but they could meet me once a week or meet both of us, and uh, you know, uh, but pay a lot. And then they could have their questions. They could uh, talk to us like that too. And I want to be affordable to be every budget. Uh, so they cannot have any excuse. Oh, you're too expensive. I cannot hire you because that happened before. Like they're like they're saying, so, oh, it's like I can't afford this. I like okay, don't make excuses. You could afford it because I'm gonna make it the way it is. Everybody could afford it. Okay, maybe you cannot afford one on one, but you could afford once a week. Uh, uh you know, uh, online uh coaching with us. And and Rose, the the best way to meet someone. No doubt about it. I've researched this and I know it's true, is to put people under one roof for hours at a time, like at a class. And when they know they don't have to say the right thing to someone they're interested in, because next week they're going to see them again. And they can think about them for a week. And then the next week they can see them again. And they spend a few hours together. We'll put them in group work. We'll have them work intimately with each other. It is such a brilliant idea. I don't know why anybody else, everybody should be doing this. I have a free group uh, on uh, uh, Meetup. And, you know, one person talking, it's, we have a man and a woman all mixed. And 
uh, they could see the man talks uh, his issues too. So like she could see he has a vulnerability opening up and they get to know each other. From those groups too, uh, people have an opportunity to meet one another. And uh, you never know who's signing up. And uh, that's the other way they could just, like you said, you know, on their same roof. And if, if that's even online, but still you are kind of learning that person, what that person going through. And you're getting a little bit of piece of, uh, of that person's personality. And, you know, when you're going just for the personal and not for the personal, for the physical, when you're going just for the physical, there's a problem there. You and I both know what it is, but, and I, when I was younger, I said, no, it's got to be physical first, and then I, let me see if I get to know them. So, but as I've gotten older, the, lo the more I spend with someone, the more, like, I want to be with them, I'm, the more I like them. Right. And so that's the key, is spending time with someone, not just looking at someone, but spending time with someone. So you and I have talked about I have some events. Yeah, I had a, a client and I helped her pick her, uh, the person she was dating. And in my vision, they were perfect. But he was like kind of a little bit on the nerdier side. And he's been from away from a dating scene for a long time. But he was exactly what she was looking for, but she couldn't see it. And she was about to dump him many times. I said, nope, 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 nope. That's, you're going to keep it there. You still keep dating. And, but we're going to keep them there. Today, they're head over in love and they're looking around for a house. And, uh, you know, they, they're just a perfect couple right now. And she couldn't see it because sometimes people pull back and they don't show their true personality. And they could be actually an alpha man leader. Uh, but in the beginning, because they're such a gentleman, they might not come out. Uh, I just tell them, Date it until you hate, you know, like just at least three, four date, uh, just get to know somebody. And because everything else there, if you feel like just complaining, just maybe the chemistry not there, because that just comes with time. Right. Absolutely. And so that's what we want to do. We yeah. want to bring people together, not for matchmaking, but the two most important things that I could think of that would help people, even though they might not see it. Right. 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 Is coaching and them spending time together. And then if we're watching them, we could just lead them. Uh, because for me, it's a getting to know person and personality. And then later on, seeing what their uh, actions are, where they're going. And I'm able to, like, for example, with that client, I'm like, no, 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 no. You're not going to let him go because you're just going to give him. And then the, uh, around that time, like other ones didn't work out. And she realized the real value of this person because I knew the other ones wasn't going to work out. And this one was going to be the real gem. And he was. And sometimes the people there just don't see it, unfortunately, because I think it's just that we have the professional eye. That's why uh, I don't think it's like I don't blame them not seeing it either. That uh, They always say it's like just have some outsider to look at. Well, if I was looking for someone and I'm not married, uh, I would want you to help me because you have this incredible approach. And I think the combination of male and female uh, and coaching and, and getting people together uh, under one roof for a few hours at a time, once a week, I think it's perfect. Uh, we're going to work on some events, putting some events together. Also, I grew up with men and the, I did the manly business and I had an oil business and I was a young, you know, like 19 year old and opened my uh, business and I owned a gas station. And after that, I owned several gas stations and I was in this big oil guys and they were like, I was like their sister, their little daughter. And I learned how to men communicate, how to men talk. And my brain works like a man too, sometimes. And I understand men. So uh, sometimes they're just like, oh, he says doing this. I said, you know what? He means that. And then later on, they go, so like, how did you know? And I asked him, he exactly said, yeah, Rose, right. I, I, would, I was thinking that. Or when I just didn't do that, I made you upset. But my heart was like that. And 
I do understand. I have a way of uh, knowing, you know, the man's side too. So it's not just for girls. It's, uh, it's just a couple thing. And just putting that couples, I think we could be the cupids for uh, these people looking for a love. And again, how similar we are. I had a mother who loved me like crazy and two older sisters who loved me. So I grew up around women. So, so, so you're interesting. A woman. And so interesting. So nice. And you're into astrology. We could check. Uh, I mean, I am very spiritual. I am like very advanced level. Uh, I could help people who's going through spiritual awakening. I could answer anything and everything. But astrology, it just, you have to study, you have to invest a lot of time. That's where I am, like, you know, I love astrology, but I don't have the knowledge you have. Sometime maybe we could do a reading for our clients before we match. Well, uh, I have a great idea. That's exactly what I want to do. When we meet people, before we, before they go out on any kind of dates, or when we, we have groups of people together, I'm going to do compatibility charts. Yes. For everyone in that group. I think that's a great idea because it it, it just works and it is real. And then also uh, we could give information to because there is I don't think there is no other matchmaker or dating coach that has the spirituality included and both of us spiritual. There is certain times it works better. Like uh, we know those times, like the, you know, like the Monday was the full moon and I put out a lot of, uh, you know, uh, like the wishes for my clients and, you know, like the, for uh, love requests. And there is some time, you know, the time to send out the universe, what you're wishing for, what you're looking for, how to manifest. And also we could teach that to our clients because that's that happens and you put out and then we could just uh, teach them how to uh, continue to pull that uh, manifestation towards the the person could come to you. Sometimes people are doing a vision board I'm teaching, but if you don't go out, if you don't look, let's say, okay, you send out the universe heard and uh, wants to send you this person. This person, he shifted, let's say he was in New York and he may move him down to Jupiter, somewhere nearby her. Uh, but she's not coming out of the house. He's going to same uh, public she's going. Uh, he's going to same, uh, you know, uh, the like, you know, like uh, places he's hanging. So universe wants to, you know, you know, bump them with each other because the universe doesn't have a matchmaking agency. So you need to go out. Even you put out, still you need to go and, some organic way you have to meet that person and that's what i tell people you cannot just be staying in your robe all day long and uh, being on social media and you're not putting out you know you're taking care of yourself you're not getting out and god cannot do it's like universe cannot do it's just like you know ups or amazon delivery it doesn't work that way you gotta go out and meet this person absolutely and so I'm I'm very happy with this first show because people got to meet you and understand you and how you work and they got to understand me a little bit and how our chemistry together is going to be off the charts. So I think we do. and then we could also do like you know the men and woman side of that and you could see, you have a lot of guy friends too and then you could uh, explain ladies how the men feels about like certain things and you know and then I could tell you how the uh, how females feels about the, some of the things, for example, and, you know, they just don't like it. The men sometimes, you know, like, uh, like uh, kind of, uh, uh, I, I don't know how it's like, like too frugal. Maybe he's been burned before, but it's just don't let the woman pay like the other ones pull, you know, it's like maybe this woman is the one and you know don't do that and you know like those kind of things uh because it's just like okay they got burned but there was this woman you know it's it's not her fault and uh, maybe she you know she is the one she should be treated uh, respectfully and she if she says she's kind of traditional lady and uh, you cannot just uh ask her out uh, 
to Kofi and just take him to at least start with a nice lunch, you know, like those kind of things. Yeah, well, we're so alike and we see things the same way. I'm uh, old fashioned. I'm, I'm old fashioned. And you know why? Old fashioned works. Things that were done for 5,000 years worked. And the way that people are doing things the last 20 years, I don't know. I asked them, how's it working? They go, horrible. So good luck with that new type of everything that you're doing. But we know what has worked for 5,000 years. Fred Flintstone and Wilma, they <laughs> love each other. They never stop loving each other. And it's the same thing. We are going to put people together. And the next show, we're going to tell you more information about how you can join us in our coaching uh, clubs, our coaching rooms. We're going to do it maybe over Zoom or definitely do it live. Maybe we'll do it someplace in between Fort Lauderdale and Boca. And maybe we could do one in the North Palm Beach, uh, Jupiter or Palm Beach Gardens area. But we'll do both. We'll leave it up to you. You can actually, do Zoom. Yeah, actually, it's a lot of fun. If they they could bring a man friend and they could bring a girlfriend, they could ask questions. It's like, you know, how the matchmaking works and what the guys like and what's the do's, don'ts, where to find these people, uh, you know, like what type of thing where, and then we meet them. It's like, uh, I, I would love to, you know, have a place to meet and they could just uh, come and, ask questions, uh, I will love to that. I love that one, you know, like the face-to-face, -face, uh, you know, questions and answers and actually doing the coaching right there. Because when you do the coaching to one person, all the other ones are learning to. Absolutely. So the next time we get together, we're going to end the show now. The next time we get together, we're going to tell you a lot more about where you can find us and how you can find us and uh, start talking to your friends Guys, start talking to your ladies' friends and tell them that uh, you've got some world-class coaches that are going to be putting classes together. It's a surefire way for people to meet. I'm thrilled that we did this show and we got together and shared our experiences and our goals. Thank you so much for doing this with me. And I look forward to doing another show with you very soon. Thank you so much for having me. And it's, I think I have a very good vibes and I think this is going to be fabulous and I have a good energy, good feelings. And I think it's going to be great uh, uh, partnership and, you know, working together. I am looking forward to, I am really, really excited. And by myself, I'm overloaded and I needed a partner to do these type of just going out meeting people and doing seminars. And I am glad you joined me. Thank you so much. And we have big plans for people. We have weekend plans. We have week-long plans at some exotic destinations. But it all starts in your home area there with classes. And uh, that's enough. We're, I don't want to give up any more information. Yeah, Rose, Rose, yeah Rose. I have a, I have a November. I have a cruise uh, workshop uh, with the celebrity Apex. Uh, next time I will tell them a little bit more about that. And it's a seven days, and it's a, you know uh, it's only limited to hundred people, and uh, we just uh, starting to selling tickets, and it's just going to be amazing experience. I I know that ship. Believe it or not, I saw it. It came down to the island that I lived on for years. It was one of the first stops it made. It's a beautiful ship. And it's, uh, that'd be it's beautiful. And also it's like they didn't put out, but it's like I will join to some of the excursions too. It's like it's one-on-one. -on -one. People get to spend time with me and they could bring a friend. They're going to have singles room. They, If they have a comp, you know, friend, they could have a room. So the couples could come. Actually for the couples, if they come, if they see it's like what the same being a single today and uh, what the singles have to go through, you know what? Those couples will start working on their problems. If somebody out there watching and you have problems and uh, you're planning maybe getting a divorce, maybe before getting a divorce, think about taking one more less cruise with your partner and come and join our uh, love and relationship and because we're going to be talking about a lot of dating and a lot of dating do's and don'ts and difficulties you might just have a different idea maybe 
also because we talk about relationship a lot to help to communicate that communication maybe could heal uh your relationship because usually the people uh fall apart uh the misunderstanding one another uh just uh, the just the switching away of how you're saying for example my clients like you know like kind of like oh i just go pick up the dog from uh the dog sitter i gotta go instead of saying at the date like oh i'm having a so much good time with you oh my god dog at the dog sitter what we're we gonna do and he will be like let's get a check it's like you know he won't be feel like you know dog came first he's like you know little tiny things could make and the men are simple girls like men will like if the ladies know how to sweet talk and men will do anything for you brilliant right? brilliant okay we'll say let's save some for the next 10 shows because there's you have so much information and yeah I love sharing and uh, we'll end it here bye bye everybody we'll see you next time take care bye bye, -bye. bye.